Namaste my fellow strikers, Holy Materia here, back with another Shinobi Striker video. Today we're going to be talking about how to play a healer in base battle. So let's get right into it. That's all, that's all good, I got you, I got you all. This is when it's useful on base. Let's go, we just revived three people. <laughs> Okay, so number one, and this probably goes for each class, uh, base is a very objective base game mode. So the first thing to do is focus on the objective. Uh, so that means capturing and holding bases. Uh, because of the DLC, healers have become the second best class when it comes to controlling and capturing points. So because of moves like Water Pillar and Truth Seeker Orbs, healers are now very good at controlling space. So you want to be focused on not only capturing but also holding bases. So healers should be rotating and we'll talk about this for each class but when it comes to ro rotating the bases, healers should be rotating based on what teammates need help uh, instead of instead of uh, just thinking about which bases to capture. If none of your teammates really need help then make sure to hold the base that you're on especially if you see any other opponents there. Uh, so second healing your teammates. So because base battle is more objective based, uh, healing teammates isn't the main priority, uh, but you should always have some kind of way to heal your teammates uh, in in every game mode if you're a healer, uh, to be honest. But um, it's good to have at least one global healing move for, for healers, like whether it's like Eno's heal, the mind transmission, palm sage jutsu, or like an ultimate like mitotic regeneration, or master rusting shuriken, or uh, the slug long distance healing something like that um, or war arc sakura's all the 100 healings so it's good to have some kind of way to heal your teammates globally so that you can heal your teammates because everybody's going to be spread out all over the map some good builds to use in base battle would be first of all water pillar is the is the best move that healers have uh, for base uh, even though there's lots of counters to it now it's still one of the best moves and it's still one of the biggest nuisances uh, you just have to be more strategic how you use it now like wait for people to waste their water pillar breakers and then and then pop it or you can wait until you have like the base partially captured and then put the water pillar on there so that by the time they break it you'll already have captured it or maybe you just have to uh, block and ref and deflect somebody off of you and then you'll and then you'll capture the base like that in the last video i was talking about how the uh, summoning slug is a really bad jutsu but it's been buffed and it's one of the best healer jutsu now especially on base battle uh, so you can run that uh, put that on the base and it, it you can completely destroy your opponents because they're, they're going to be trying to get on the base and they, so they have to run into that slug and get that debuff to their defense and it'll be so easy for your teammates to kill them because of that and all your teammates have a way to heal themselves and remove status ailments so that's a really good move on base and you can also use that to leave on a base and then rotate to another base to go help another teammate and uh, also, also use the healing seal that's the that's still the best thing for healers even on base battle uh, especially on base and flag i would say it's the best thing to use because sometimes you don't want to use all healing jutsu uh, so yeah the healing seal is really good True Seeker orbs are really good for crowd control, uh, but just note that you can't capture a base or hold a base while you are inside the ball. Like you can use it to knock people away from the base, but you won't be capturing the base because you're floating above it. And also, if you if an opponent is on the base and you're inside the True Seeker orbs, they'll they'll continue to capture the base even if you're like hovering above the, the base. So just be careful with that. And when you when you shoot it it's good to either hit the healer or the defense type with the orbs so that you can reset their ninjutsu because they have the best jutsu when it comes to capturing bases or even or, or holding bases uh, like i said before mind transmission palm sage jutsu is good because it's a global healing and it'll get your your alt back really fast you can pair that with water pillar so that you'll be safe while you do it uh, my main build right now for for base is water pillar summoning slug and and massive rusting shuriken but we'll talk about the alts in a second but cellular extraction is always good it's, a, it's good on every game mode including base uh and base battle is one of the the few times that it might be okay to run like a combat healing build uh, but you should still have at least one way to heal your team like maybe the the healing seal uh, but because a lot of the healer one shot sort of builds they require people to be like stationary or like on the ground and base battle is the, is the best time to be able to catch people with things like shadow stitching or shadow possession jutsu and the, all the ground pound moves are good because they break water pillar and sand shield like crimson drizzle uh, heavenly foot of pain 
in Sakura's Ground Pound. And this is one of the few times where Green Rain Ground Hold can be okay. Yeah, so there's a lot of, uh, there, are, there are a lot of Jutsu that are viable in base battle uh, that aren't that good in combat or other game modes. Uh, so as for ults, Mitotic Regeneration is good because this is the time when reviving people is the most important. And to go with that, base battle is probably the only time that Naruto Last Battle's Rebirth move is good, his ninjutsu, uh, because it, it's important to be able to revive people on base battles. Uh, so yeah, so that makes Mitotic Regeneration really good because it heals your teammates completely, globally, and it will revive everybody on the whole map. Uh, Maze ult is really good, and it actually Maze uh, Lava Style is also a decent uh, ninjutsu too, but her ult is really good for clearing bases and even uh, killing people who try to stay on, on the base if they, would have, if they want to try to fight you while it's going on. 100 healings can be good because it's a global heal and that ground pound you can get a lot of people in it because people will be stationary like on the bases. Uh, but I but the best ult is probably uh, Massive Rossing Shuriken because, because everybody's always grouped up on the bases you can get so many people with that. And it's a global heal, it gives everybody your ninjutsu back and it revives everybody so it's kind of like my tactic it's kind of like two or three alts in one uh, basically so yeah that's still the that's the best alt in base just like it is in combat okay so as for the weapon it's pretty much up to you i think the sakura naginata is the best in base personally because it's good for getting around the map and you need to be like uh, going to different bases and stuff so because the air combo is so good at moving yourself forward, I like to use the Sakura Naginata. Now, the only problem with it is that in base battle, it's really crucial to be able to break your opponent's guard because people are going to be guarding a lot on bases. But with the Sakura Naginata, the heavy attack is like a two hit combo and only the second hit breaks guard. So sometimes people will be on the base and they'll be able to knock you away before you can break their guard. So the normal healer weapon, uh, like we talked about in combat, is, is much better for breaking guards because it's just a single strike. Even though it's slow, uh, it can't be deflected. So the normal healer weapon and anyone that has the same stats, like the Tobirama uh, weapon, the Itachi, the Ninetales, all those, uh, they're all okay for base also. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the clothing perks. So for base, I pretty much run the same clothing perks as I do in combat. I always use first blood so that I get my ultimate faster because it's really crucial to get your ult a lot in base battle. Because healers, because of the ults that we'll use, they clear bases, so it's really important because it's almost like a guaranteed cap every time you get your ult. And I still use Armed and Dangerous because I am always use the Healing Seal, so that's still good. Uh, but in base battle, instead of using Unbending Will, I use I use Battle Hardened so that I get health back every time I get a KO. Uh, some people like to use the bottoms that give you more health. So it's a good uh, bottom to use for every class really in base battle because it helps you to outlast your opponents on the bases. But for me, having the Healing Seal and Armed and Dangerous is enough to keep my HP up. So you can kind of play around with the with the different clothing perks, but those are the ones that I that work that work well for me. And I think they work, uh, yeah, they work pretty well in base battle with the, especially with the builds we've been talking about. So yeah, to sum it up, uh, focus on the objective, uh, heal your teammates, try to have at least one global healing, uh, rotate to the teammates that need healing, and don't forget to hold bases. And probably the most important jutsu are water pillar and true seeker orbs. All right, so if you if you want any more info on how to play healer, I've got a how to play healer video that talks about all the game modes. It's a little bit outdated, but most of it is still relevant. And then also uh, you can check out this uh, how to play healer for combat. And uh, also if you want to know more about how to play base, you can check out this video on how to play base battle. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you guys in the next one. Everybody stay safe out there. Peace and love. Yo, that was the clutchest thing I've seen in the game. Oh my goodness, GG's. Good match. Oh my goodness. That was a hey, GG of the century right there. <laughs>